Assalamualaikum. How are you today? Alright, students. Today we continue with new chapter, which is coordinates. Alright, today we will cover seven point one subtopic seven point one about distance in a Chatterton coordinate system. Before this, you have learned about the coordinates. You know how to identify the coordinate A. What is the coordinate for A? 2, 2. Okay, so how to determine the coordinate A is by referring to the X axis and the Y axis. Then you identify what is the X coordinate and the Y coordinate for point A. Alright, now how to find the distance between point A and point B? Okay, you want to know the distance of point A and point B what you have to do is construct a right angle triangle okay the idea is from the right angle triangle okay how to find the distance by using the right angle triangle it relates to a theorem known as Pythagoras theorem Okay, so you add another point here, point C. So you have a right angle triangle ABC. Okay, the distance between AC, the distance between AC is known as the horizontal distance, and the distance between BC known as vertical distance. Okay. To find the distance between AB, we will use the Pythagoras theorem. How to use the Pythagoras theorem is AB square equals to AC square plus BC square. You know that the hypotenuse square equals to the sum of square of another two sides. Therefore, to find AB is square root of AC square plus BC square. In this example, AB equals to square root of 3 square because you have 1, 2, 3, 3 units. And based on this X as the scale, the scale is 1 unit. And for the vertical distance, you have 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 units. From B to C is 4 units. Okay. And refer to the scale of Y as is also 1 unit. Okay. Therefore, AB equals to 5 units. Okay. Let's look at this example. Determine the distance between two points in the following Chatterson plane. You have point A and point B here. AB is parallel to Y axis. Okay, therefore you just take the vertical distance between AB. And look at the scale for Y axis. The scale for Y axis is one unit therefore here six times one because you have the vertical distance one two three four five six six times by one unit for the scale of y axis therefore the distance between a b is six units Okay, please take note that AB is parallel to Y axis. The distance of AB can be determined by finding its vertical distance. Look at this example. Example B, you have point PQ. Point P and point Q, you want to know the distance between point P and point Q. Okay. 
PQ equal to 6 times 5 units. Why? You have to multiply by 5 units because this one 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 forces and the scale of x axis is 5 units. Therefore, 6 multiplied by 5 units. The distance between PQ is 30 units. Okay, this line, line PQ is parallel to X axis. Therefore, you just to find the distance between PQ. Okay, this one is actually PQ. The distance between PQ can be determined by finding its horizontal distance. Alright, now example C. You have point D and point E. How to determine the distance between DE? DE equals to 4 times 10 units because this one is 1, 2, 3, 4 squares here and the scales for the x axis is 10 units. That's why you have to multiply by 4. Okay, therefore this one DE equals to 40 units. The distance between DE is 40 units. Okay, now look at this example D, point F, G. Point F and point G. How to find the distance F and G? Is 4 multiplied by 2 units because 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 squares here and the scale for the y and z is 2 units. Therefore, distance between f and g is equal to 8 units. Okay, now we want to know the how to determine the distance between two points in Tartessian plane by using formula. Okay, let's say you want to know this distance. Distance between point A and point B. Given the coordinate A is 2, 2 and, and coordinate B is 5, 2. Alright. You can look here, the coordinate A and coordinate B, the value of Y coordinate is equal. Okay, the Y coordinate is for point A is 2 and also for the point B, the Y coordinate is 2. To find the distance between A B, you just find the horizontal distance by find the difference between its x coordinate okay a b equals to 5 minus 2 therefore this one x2 minus x1 which is the x coordinate for b and a all right then you will get the distance between AB equals to 3 units. Okay, now you want to know the distance between point C and point D. Look at the coordinates C77 and D73. Now the X coordinate for C and D are equal which is 7. Therefore, you just compare the value of y coordinates. CD equals to 7 minus 3 because the y coordinate for C is 7 and y coordinate for D is 3. Okay, so the distance between CD equals to 4 units. Another example to find the distance between two points in Chatterson plane by using formula. Let's say you want to know the distance between point A and point C. Okay, point A coordinate point A is 2, 2, 
coordinate C67. How to find the distance between AC? By using the formula of Pythagoras theorem. Okay, this one. AC equals to square root of x2 minus x1 plus y2 minus y1 square. Okay, actually, which one you want to put as 1 and 2 is up to you because it doesn't matter because you will get the same answer. Let's say you want point C. Point C, X1, Y1 and point A, X2, Y2. Therefore, this here, this one, X1 is 6, X2 is 2. Y1 is 7 and Y2 is 2. Okay. You substitute into this formula, 6 minus 2 squared plus 7 minus 2 squared. Then you find by using calculator, you will get the distance between AC is 6.40 units. Let's try another example. Let's say you want to know the distance between point B and point D. Okay, by using the formula, by using this formula, Let's say you want D as X1, Y1, B, X2, Y2. Substitute the value into this formula. 7 minus 5 square plus 3 minus 2 square. Okay. As I said just now, which one will becomes Y1, Y2 or S1, S2? It doesn't matter as long you as you find the dis difference between the x coordinate and also the y coordinate. Okay. The distance between BD is 2.24 units. Okay, another example. You have point P and you have point Q. P, X1, Y1. What is the coordinate of point P? Point P is 6, 14 and point Q, 18, 4. How to determine the distance between P, Q? By using the formula square root of X2 minus X1 square plus y2 minus y1 square okay actually the x2 minus x1 is you find the horizontal distance and y2 minus y1 square is the vertical distance okay just substitute into the formula the value of x2 minus x1 which is 18 minus 6 squared plus 4 minus 14 for the y coordinates. 4 minus 14 squared. Then you will get the distance of PQ 15.62 units. Given the horizontal distance is 4 units and the vertical distance is 3 units of point P, coordinate P, M10 and Q, 2N, calculate the value of M and N. Okay, in this question, it does not give you the Tatterson plane, but you can draw how the position of point P and point Q, P the coordinate M10, Q coordinate 2N. Okay, okay, so this one is the distance between 
PQ. Construct a right angle triangle to determine the horizontal distance and the vertical distance. Okay, horizontal distance is x2 minus x1 and the vertical distance is y2 minus y1. In this question, given the horizontal distance for units, so you have to refer the x2 and x1, which is the x coordinate for P and Q. Right? Horizontal distance is x2 minus x1. Given the value of horizontal distance is 4 equals to x2 m minus 2. Okay? You find the difference between the x coordinates. Okay? Then solve this linear equation m equals to 6. For the vertical distance, y2 minus y1 and given the vertical distance is 3 units. Okay, the vertical distance is 3 units. Okay, 3 units for the vertical distance. y2 10 minus y1 n. Then you solve this linear equation n equals to 7. Alright, for your exercise, do self-practice 7.1 in your textbook page 130 to page 132. You may copy or further state the questions up to you. Use mathematics exercise books or test pack to do this exercise. Okay, then submit into Google Classroom. Okay, you snap the picture of your exercise and then you upload into Google Classroom. Before you submit, make sure you check your answer. Okay, so that's all for today. See you in next video.